today we're creating this whimsical, playful, colorful daycare logo using Canva. You are going to access your Canva and you're going to create a design and you're going to look for logo. And once it opens up logo, you're going to use typography for this one. No graphics. Well, one graphic, <laughs> but you're going to use typography for the logo. So the first thing that you're going to do is to add text and you're going to search for Chiwi font and you're going to create a capital letter F and make size of that one 135. The whimsical part is this is a daycare logo so it must be fun. You're going to have awesome colors and you're going to be creative and have lots of fun when it comes to this logo. Next, you're going to duplicate your F so that you have a U and you're going to make the size of that one 92.4, not close enough, 92.5 and then you're going to create a U and you're going to align it nicely, change color for that one and make it a yellow. like that yellow you're gonna duplicate that so you're gonna carry on like this with all of your letters until the full word is created cool once your word is created, just group it and then lock it so that it's out of the way. And then you can go ahead and create the bottom part of your logo. And then add a line so you press L for line and then you can increase the weight and then change the color of that one as well cool now with our U we want to make it whimsical and fun so we're going to create the circle shape so we're going to press the C and we're gonna size it and make it small and we would like to get to that exact yellow color so we're gonna go to color and we're gonna go to our tool our eyedropper or pick a color and we're gonna go to the yellow because that's the yellow we want and we're gonna duplicate that so that we have two And we're gonna group that and we're gonna move that out of the way the last whimsical side is the smile so we're gonna go to elements and we're gonna look for smile and we are looking for that free graphic to add to our fun K logo so we're gonna just click once and then we're gonna also size this and make it small and make it fit to the logo so I'm gonna unlock the logo and then I'm going to move it to the top and then I can use my elements and align it nicely And there's your logo done and dusted so when you are sharing it with your customer um, you can give them the different kinds of colors because it's a fun kind of a logo you can make it dark black or you can make it dark blue you know when you're presenting this is a quite a nice 2d 
color that you could share with your customer and but you can also leave it as white but for our exercise we're done with the logo we're going to go download it and we're going to make it transparent so that's why the color doesn't matter because we are going to jump in on photop.com and we're going to convert this logo into two formats so you're going to go on photop.com i'll put in the link in the description below and i'll put in the link for um the canva 30 day free trial so that if you want to try some of the effects are not free you, you can try it and see how you like so now you're going to go to open from computer because you're going to load your mock-up so i've downloaded these mock-ups from unblast.com i'll also link the the link i'll also add the link on the description below it is a wonderful website um, that you could use to download your psd files so that you can present your work nicely to customers so you're going to load the first one wonderful after it has loaded you're going to hide the text so you click on the eye double click on your logo hide the your logo text and then drag and drop your fun k transparent logo so we're going to make it a little bit big because this particular mock-up wants that once you've sized it you're going to go file save as smart object and once it's saved as smart object you just click once where it says wooden logo with text and then um, photo p will convert to the will convert the logo to a 3d logo you then export it and that's it fun k nicely done so if you want to do the next one you follow the same principle let's just quickly do it you go from open from computer and you go to the paper pressed one if you've enjoyed this typography I'm going to be sharing a four tips that you could use when it comes to typography and fonts on Canva. I'll see you next time.